I had always wanted to have children um, and actually always wanted to do it either through foster or through adoption. I never wanted to have my own natural children anyway. We would have a conversation every January about having a kid. And if that was, if, if that was the year that we wanted to do it, then great. If the answer was no though, put it on a shelf and we wouldn't really talk about it until the next January. Elliot has talked about being a father and having children since he was a child. So I knew that he had always wanted a child. We were having two incomes into, into our household and we were playing pretty hard and doing things that we wanted to do, but there comes a point where it's like, well, what's all this for? What's the, what's the deeper meaning? Um, and for us, the meaning was being able to nurture and give back to another life um, became really clear. So kind of check all, look at all the boxes and all the boxes were being checked and that, yeah, you know what? We, we, we are in a position um, that uh, we can be good providers without being distracted by a lot mm -hmm. of life's other stressors. Mm -hmm. um, and then in 2016, we said, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we should look into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that maybe quickly turned into let's like, do our research, like what agency, what's it going to cost, how are we going to plan, what's the budget. We have families who could be waiting for six months or could be waiting for a year. It was a match within two months. Um, we were matched. So birth mom, they have to outline a pretty detailed birth plan that includes how they want the adoptive parents to be included and in what way and it talks about, you know, what, um, who would you like in the room with you during labor? Who is your support person? Sometimes it's me. And then during the birth, who would you like to be there? She had told them she wanted them to be in the delivery room with them. That changed over time. You know, we, we came to learn it was one of a series of quote unquote red flags that shook the, the confidence that this plan was gonna be fully executed, this adoption was gonna fully occur. Um, Alice Catherine, I think, was three weeks early. And I get the call from the caseworker that says, Allie went into the hospital last night, you guys need to get over to Reading. Red flag number two. She notified no one oh, yeah, the evening right. she went into the hospital yeah, she didn't tell anyone. that she was delivering. So, you go to Reading, go get straight to the hospital. To the hospital. And I mean, immediately it was red flag number three. The, the caseworker told us, because we didn't get to go oh, right she's in. Not, she's not ready for She's you. not ready to see she's you. Not, yeah, that's right. So we do finally get in the room. But when we were in the room, we were... Um, oh, we were treated as intruders. Yeah, and then we were told to leave. Um, and that Allie did not want us in the room. And so we left Awful. the room and quietly shut the door and leaned against the wall and just kind of slid down the wall and cried. And we both knew in that moment that there was a real chance that this wasn't going to happen. Allie, um, sometime during the night, realized that um, babies are a whole lot of work when they don't go to sleep. And, they, and she called for backup. <laughs> if after two days, yeah. she's doesn't want to take, unwilling in, to take care of, the, of, the, of, of an yeah. infant, the, and she wants us to take care, take, take this on, it's like, you start to feel a little bit better. I think that was the turning point for all three of them. As much, as much torment as those first few hours and, and, and day um, was for us emotionally, it ended up exactly the way it was yeah. supposed to end. This weekend, Alice Catherine is turning three, and she wanted a frozen two cake. And Elliot spent the entire day on Saturday learning how to make fondant, and he made her a beautiful frozen cake. Um, but to know that this is the guy that ran the, the Ironman triathlon three months ago, and now he's making a frozen cake for his daughter, I just love it. I cannot wait, I mean, to, to see her make the world what she wants of it. And have the world be better because of her. Even mm -hmm. in a small way. Mm -hmm. yeah.